Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be a massive empties video. So I finished off so much stuff in the month of February. It's gonna be hard to get through all of this in a quick video, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with candles because they're already on top of here and they're just easier for me to get to, but the first one is Frosted Sugar Cookie. This one was actually downstairs in our bathroom and um, we just kind of burned this on and off. My mom really loved this candle. It's actually from last spring. The scent notes are vanilla frosting, warm brown sugar, and cookie crust. It smells amazing. This is such a good candle. It's like you don't have to be in the mood to burn it. You could just burn it whenever and it smells so good. The throw is amazing. If they come out with this again, I'm definitely going to pick it up. Um, so yeah, that's the first candle. Technically, I didn't finish that. My mom did, but... The next candle is Peppermint Sugar Cookie. I finished this off literally like a few days ago. Very happy. I'll show you the progress lines because this was in my project wax. So this was last month, this was a few weeks ago, and then this is today. So the notes on Peppermint Sugar Cookie are crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. You can see a theme here. I like bakery scents a lot. And this one smelled super good. It had like that surprising peppermint note that kind of like is, it's almost like chilling when you smell it. It it smells fresh and minty, of course. Um, this is a really good scent. I don't think I'd repurchase it though. It wasn't my favorite. Like I don't know if I like the combination of cookie and peppermint, but it definitely was a really, really good candle. And yeah, I hope they bring it back next year just because so many people loved it. The next candle that I finished is Blessed Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This was also in my project Use It Up. Um, here's the progress on that one. We're down to here right now. Um, I really didn't have that much use left out of it once um, I had updated it in my project, but pumpkin pecan waffles is such a good scent. Honestly, people rave about it for a reason, okay? Um, the notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. There's absolutely no pumpkin spice in this. Like you just got up in the morning and your mom had made like waffles or something before school, like. That's what it reminds me of. And my friend in college used to burn this candle in our apartment. And I actually hadn't ever bought a pumpkin pecan waffles candle for myself. So this is the first time for me smelling it, or so I thought. Um, but when I lit it up, I immediately remembered that scent. And I remembered, um, it just like brought me back to the time of college and living with all my roommates. And it was just like such a good reminder. So I will definitely be buying pumpkin pecan waffles again. It kind of just is like that cozy, warm feeling for me and those um emotional memories that are associated with the scent which is like the whole reason why we love scents here i'm assuming if you're watching my channel or watching these videos that you love scents as well and have like an emotional attachment to some of them so i will definitely be getting this again next year and yeah very very excited that i finished it off and this is like such a high thrower but yeah excited about that one the next candle i have is christmas morning from dw homes this was a big giant three wick um it's huge and super heavy and it basically just smelled like um cafe au lait just kind of like coffee and milk yeah it smelled absolutely amazing if i see this again or like a uh coffee candle from dw homes i would definitely consider buying it this was only 7.99 at marshall's for this huge candle and it lasted me a very long time um i'll show you progress lines for my project use it up this was uh the start of january this was the start of february and we're here now but yeah this was an awesome candle and this is before i knew what tunneling was um i've had this candle for like three years so don't mind the tunneling on there. That was user error, but yeah, definitely a good candle. Oh my gosh, there's so many candles in here. I cannot believe I finished this many. Okay, so now we have a single wick from Glade. And actually I have two single wicks from Glade. Um, this one is Sultry Amber Rhythm. This is like a really nice um, manly fall scent, I would say. Um, I actually used this, I finished this up super quickly because I used this during the whole Texas winter storm when we were we were without power for a few days so i just had this burning like solid for a few days and went through it immediately so don't mind that one but i also had glade warm flannel embrace this one was so good i if i could 
uh, buy these again for $2.50. I definitely will. I won't pay, I think it's like four or five dollars regularly um, at like Target or something. But I got these from Big Lots for $2.50. So if I find them again at $2.50, I will definitely consider purchasing them. But this um, this scent is actually a scent that reminds me of my ex. Um, that's why I bought this candle, which is like, you know, not the best reason. But actually, it was a very comforting scent for me. And it just also made me feel cozy again. I guess it's the scent memory. Or maybe it's just the scent by itself. I really don't know. But I would definitely consider getting this again. A very good scent. I burned this. Um, this one lasted me a few, like a long time. Um, because I would only burn it at night during my shower time. So I burned this like maybe 30 minutes to an hour every night for like a whole month. And it lasted me a whole month. So I think that's worth it in my opinion. So the next few things are kind of random. Um, first we'll start off with hair products. I finished off the Herbal Essence Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse. Um, this one has been a repurchase for me for like 10 years to be honest. I love using it on my curly hair. Um, I already have repurchased this one. I will continue to repurchase it. I don't know if it's curly girl friendly, but I don't care. I love it so much. So yeah, this one's amazing. The next thing I finished is the Love Beauty and Planet Argan Oil and Lavender Shampoo. It's supposed to be for, calm, it says calming definition for frizzy hair and acts of love for our planet. Um, I would actually consider repurchasing this. I really liked this. I'm using the, um, the conditioner in the shower right now too. Um, I really liked this. It actually, I think, did work and did help my frizzy hair. So I would consider purchasing the full size of this one. And then I have like a random thing. I just have the My Degree Motion Sense Ultra Clear Black Plus White and Tropical Touch. Little uh, deodorant there. I do really like the Degree um, Motion Sense line. I love that line from Degree. Um, I have a few skincare products. So first is the Pixie Glow Tonic. I know everybody raves about this, but I just don't think it's right for my skin. It didn't do anything for me, to be honest. Um, I, this probably, if I was using it a few years ago, it would have been amazing for me. But where I'm at right now with my skin is, I don't really have any dry patches anymore like I used to. Um, and I have a lot of congestion from wearing a mask all day. So I just have like built up bacteria underneath my skin that I need to get rid of. And this toner was not helping that. It really wasn't helping my skin at all. If I do get to a place where my skin is dry, like super dry again with dry patches, I probably will get this. But yeah, it didn't do anything for my for my skin. It really did absolutely nothing. I think it's just meant for other skin types. Um, the next thing I have is the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. This is a little mini. It actually came with the full size that I bought, and so I'm using the full size right now. Um, but this is just meant to be like a second cleanser. Um, so if you take off your makeup, use this, and then use another cleanser. Um, somebody's dogs are like running loose in the neighborhood. Well, and our, my neighbor just said, y'all go home. Y'all better go home. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, I really do like this. Um, I actually saw that Jessica Braun recommended this in one of her skincare routines. Um, she said that she uses this a lot, and I do actually really, really like it. I definitely think if I'm wearing like a full face of makeup like I am today, I will totally use this, um, and it works really well. The next thing I have is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. Again, like a little mini. This came um, with a free gift set from um, Ulta. And I liked it. I don't think it did a lot for me. Again, I think this is for like a different skin type for super dry skin right now. My skin is kind of transition transitioning into more of a combo normal skin type to where I don't have as many dry patches as I used to. And my skin does get a little oily. Um, yeah, it's kind of just like more combo skin and just with the trouble areas on my cheeks. So um, the next thing I have is the I'm Cure Pimple Patch from what's the brand on this i really don't know oh karatika it's a korean brand and i got this from tj maxx for 5.99 um these are micro needle patches which i didn't know when i bought them um but you can see on the back it's like a two-step program when you do the uh, micro needling patch on a like cystic whitehead and then you do after that for like eight hours then you do this other patch on it which is supposed to like heal it faster so that way um if it's like a scab it'll heal it a little faster i did like it um i love pimple patches lately i've been having like a little bit of cystic acne from just like you know wearing the mask whatever bacteria 
um, that's trapped under the skin finally surfaces. Then I'll use a pimple patch. So I did really, really enjoy these, um, but I already repurchased my um, Skin RX. I think it's Skin R. No, Cause R. No. What's the brand? I'm not sure what the brand is. I'll try to leave it like right here if I remember, but I love those pimple patches and I will continue to repurchase those. I just so happen to like find these at TJ Maxx, so probably won't repurchase those. And then another like kind of random thing is self tanner. This is the Mind Tan Olive Super Dark Express Foam Tanner. Um, and then I have the little mitt that came with it. I got this, I think, in a FabFitFun last spring. I had never tried self-tanning before, or at least a self-tanning foam. I've tried, like, the spray or, like, a bronzing uh, lotion that you just wash off. But this one is supposed to last for, like, a week or two weeks. I absolutely loved it. If you have... Um, I have olive complexion because I am Italian. So if I get pale, I turn, no joke, a little bit green. Um... It's very odd, but I tan super, super easily. So um, it used to be when I was in marching band that I was like super, super dark just because I was out in the sun like all day, every day, five days a week, sometimes six days a week. I was spending two plus hours in the sun. So I was always wearing sunscreen. You know, don't, don't not wear your sunscreen, kids. I was always reapplying, but no matter what I did, I still was out in the sun getting darker. Um, but I have not been in the sun for all of quarantine. Um, so I thought, why not use a tan mousse? And I love this brand. I love this mousse. I've already repurchased it and I purchased a new mitt. It's amazing. I leave it on for two hours on my body, one hour on my face, and then one hour um, in the contours. So like I'll put it on my whole body, including my face for an hour, and then I'll wash it off of my face after that one hour and put it on um, like contour basically for the second hour and then wash it off of my entire body, including the contour. So I don't know if that made sense, but um, I really, really love that self tanner and I'd highly recommend it if you also have the same um, skin tone as me, um, where it's a little bit like olive toned. Um, this one also, they said it's supposed to be universal. So yeah, they have a lot of different colors on their website if you want to go check it out, but I totally recommend that self tanning mousse. Okay. The next thing is just super random. I have a face razor, which I actually think is also not helping my, um, bacteria under my skin. Uh, so I will not be using these facial razors anymore, but I just bought this one, I think from like TJ Maxx and a pack of four. So yeah, there's that. I have a few makeup items. I have the Mary Kay Under Eye Corrector. I love this. I've used this for years. Um, I go through maybe one every three to four months um, just because I use it literally every time I do my makeup. And yeah, it's super good. The next thing I have is the Tardis Lip Paint in Strike Gold. This was in a BoxyCharm, I think. And I'm just decluttering it because the lid broke. And so now it's like leaking everywhere. It won't even close correctly. And yeah, I never liked it to begin with. It was a little too sticky. It didn't even feel like gloss consistency. So yeah, not sad to see this go. And I'll probably just throw it away because you can't even like use it correctly with this packaging. So yeah. So the next thing I like found at the bottom of this basket, um, but it is a skincare product. It is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream um, Moisturizer. So this is like another little mini that I got in an Ulta um, gift set and it was free. Um, but I really, really liked this. It was like, it was a really good face cream, um, for my combo kind of dry, kind of oily skin. It was really, really good. I definitely liked it. Um, I don't need to repurchase it right now because I have moisturizers already. Um, but I would consider purchasing it in the future. I think it cosmetics is cruelty free. So I'll have to look into that, um, because I'm trying to be cruelty free. Um, but yeah, I would consider repurchasing it. And then I have a ton of body care. So let's get into soaps. The first one I have is Toasted Vanilla Chai Foaming Hand Soap. Um, and this is from Christmas. The notes on this are whipped vanilla, sponge sugar, and winter spice. This is my favorite hand soap um, scent. Um, I wish they came out with it again in a candle. I never got to try that, but it literally smells like chai tea. This is the soap that got me to try chai tea because I had loved how it smelled. Um, but I did notice that it didn't linger on my hands as much as um, like the gel soaps. The scent lingers a lot better than the foam ones. 
um, but it still smells really good when you're using it. I have a few more. I have a gel and I have another foam in like the turkey packaging for Thanksgiving. So I will be using those like once it gets to fall again. But yeah, I love, love, love this scent. And the next thing I have is Vanilla Be Noel Deep Cleansing Hand Soap. Um, this was in our bathroom downstairs. This is fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, and sugar cookies. You can't go wrong with Vanilla Bean Noel, guys. It is amazing. My mom actually really loved this um, hand soap. It's like such a good, just like basic vanilla scent. Um, I got this at Summer SAS in 2020. Actually, this is a 2019 packaging. Um, but yeah, I loved this. It was really, really good. Definitely would repurchase anything Vanilla Bean Noel always. I have a few pocket backs. So first one is Frosted Coconut Snowball from this past winter. This is a good scent. I, I like it in a uh, pocket back or like hand soap or something, but I don't like it in everything else. I have Oh Snap Merry Cookie. This one smelled so good. I love the little gingerbread on here too. This is a really good one. I have another one of this actually. Um, and then Stress Relief Eucalyptus and Spearmint. This one's a little old. Um, I don't really like it because it's super like super strong so i don't think i'll ever get this again because it's way too strong like it almost gave me headaches so um the next one that i have is a hand cream this is frosted cranberry i did cut it open to get the last bit out of here um this is such an amazing scent i really liked frosted cranberry this past year it's like a great like fruity scent a little my nose um but yeah, I love their hand creams and I will continue to repurchase them and I probably would repurchase Frosted Cranberry and Body Care next year. Next thing I have is this Hydrating Body Oil in Moonstone. This is also from Bath & Body Works, I believe like 2017 or something. There's no way to tell on this, like actually, I just realized that. But I had this in my project Use It Up for a long time, um, back when I thought I didn't like body oils, but I actually figured out that I really love them but only for the days that I shave my legs, which is like once a week, sometimes twice a week. But um, I'll use the body oils right after I towel off in the shower and then put on a body oil and it just makes your skin so smooth for like the next three days. It is amazing. So I do have another body oil, eucalyptus and tea in the shower right now that I'll use after this, but I did actually really like that. And the next thing I have is the Honey Scrub from Pink, and it's just a mini. I got this during their SAS too. I think it was like $4. I probably could have gotten it for cheaper if I waited, but I didn't want to wait. Um, this smelled so good. I really like this honey scent, um, but I don't think I liked the formula. It kind of left my skin feeling... It did leave it feeling moisturized, which is good, but it almost was like sticky. Um... So I don't like the formula of this, but I do like the scent. Um, I would consider getting something else from like the honey line, like maybe a lotion or something, but I didn't like the formula of this. It just felt very odd. Um, so I didn't like that. Glad I got it in a mini um, before I got it in a large size. The next thing that I have is the Bath & Body Works Mint Drop Exfoliating Lip Scrub. Um, I got this in 2019 holiday and I just now finished it. It was absolutely amazing if you can get the lip scrubs um this is 850 if you can get them on sale or something i highly recommend them um i almost purchased one full uh full price but i did i just couldn't commit to that so i got a elf lip scrub instead those are really good too but yeah this was amazing i love the scent of it i love the formula yeah, it was so, so good. The next thing I have is the Twisted Peppermint Mini Fine Fragrance Mist. This is from 2016. Um, I had been working on this in my project Use It Up. Um, I think it took me like three months. Um, this started in December in my project Use It Up and I finished it up like the first week of February. Um, so that'll let me know now that the Mini Fine Fragrance Mist take me about two and a half months to finish, which is not that bad. Um, I don't like Twisted Peppermint in the Fine Fragrance Mist, but I do like it in the lotion and the shower gel. Um, so yeah, I will consider purchasing it again in the future. I already have a lotion that I'm planning on using in the summer um, because it does have like a cooling effect, but yeah, I will not be repurchasing it in a mist. And the last body care item that I have is Sugar Cherry Crisp in the body cream. I am so sad to see her go. She was absolutely amazing. The notes on this are Bright Cherry Delight, Crumbled Graham Cracker, Spun Vanilla Sugar. 
I used this up so fast. It smells amazing. Um, I really hope they bring this out again because it was so good and I feel like it was a fan favorite of a lot of people. Um, I didn't like this one in the mist again. I don't know what it was about that. Oh my god, it smells so good. So yeah, I really hope they bring this out again or maybe I can find it at SAS. But oh my god, it smelled so good. Very, very good one. Okay, I have a few um, home fragrance things. So I have this little um, car fragrance refill. This is Twisted Peppermint. Um, this really only lasted like barely a month before it just died out on me, which is not typical, I think, of the car fragrance refills. Um, I had one in autumn that lasted me like legit three or four months. Um, so yeah. It smelled good while well, it had a scent, but it didn't have a scent for very long. The next thing I have is, okay, so I have the uh, tag for thanks and giving the wallflower plug refill, um, but that's going in our downstairs bathroom right now. This one that is empty, let's see what this one was. You know what, I really have no clue what this one was, but we finished it. Um, I tried to smell it and see what it was, but I really couldn't tell. Um, and then we finished off um, an Airwick plug-in. My brother had this one in his room. I think it's like the fresh linen one. Yeah, it's the linen one. It smells really good. Um, I definitely don't doubt it. Uh, we have, we've transferred it from my brother's room to the garage now um, because my dad does smoke, but he only smokes in the garage. He doesn't smoke in the house because literally all of us have, have asthma, including him. I know. Um, but he literally hasn't even noticed that it's in the garage. Um, we just kind of like sneakily put it in there and it definitely helps with the odor. So these definitely work. Um, the laundry scent is really nice, but so far me and my mom are loving the one that we have in the bathroom too. So yeah, that's everything for today's video. That's all of the empties. That was a, a lot of stuff. I know this video was a little bit long, so sorry about that, but let me know down below something that you are super proud of finishing up. I am very proud of finishing up uh, six candles. Okay, the peppermint, I mean the sugar cookie one doesn't count because my mom finished it. So five candles last month, I finished up five candles. Five, three full size and two uh, single wicks. So very happy about that. I'm like super impressed with myself. I didn't even know I could do all that. So yeah, very happy about that. But thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.